The Restoration diarist Samuel Pepys was an inveterate playgoer. Between 1662 and 1669, he attended eight performances of Macbeth in the version revised by Sir William Davenant and one of Romeo and Juliet. Here is a selection from Pepys's entries. 1st of March, 1662. Then my wife and I by coach to the opera and there saw Romeo and Juliet. First time it was ever acted. It is a play of itself the worst that I ever heard in my life. <laughs> and the worst acted that I ever saw these people do. And I'm resolved to go no more to see the first time of acting for they were all of them out, more or less. <laughs> 5th of November, 1664, up and to the office, where all morning, at noon to the change, and thence home to dinner, and so with my wife to the Duke's house, to a play, Macbeth, a pretty good play, admirably acted, thence home, the coach being forced to go round about by London Wall home because of the bonfires. 28th of December, 1666, from hence to the Duke's house, and there saw Macbeth most excellently acted a most excellent play for variety. I sent for my wife to meet the, me there, who did come. And after the play done, I out so soon to meet her at the other door that I left my cloak in the playhouse. And when I returned to get it, she was gone out and missed me. And with Will Hewer away home. I not sorry for it much. Did do go to Whitehall and got my Lord Balassus to get me into the playhouse. And there, after staying above an hour for the players, saw Henry V. Well done by the Duke's people, and a most excellent habit, all new vests being only put on that night. But I sat so far off and so high that I missed most of the words, and sat with a wind coming into my back and neck, which did most trouble me. 7th January, 1667. Thence by coach to fetch my wife from her brothers, and thence to the Duke's house and saw Macbeth, which... Though I saw it lately, yet appears a most excellent play in all respects, but especially in divertisement, though it be a deep tragedy, which is a strange perfection in a tragedy, it being most proper here and suitable. So home, it being the last play now I am to see till a fortnight hence. 9th of April, 1667. So to the playhouse, where not much company come, which I impute to the heat of the weather, it being very hot. Here we saw Macbeth, which, though I have seen it often, yet it is one of the best plays for a stage and a variety of dancing and music that I ever saw. So, being very much pleased, thence home by coach with young Goodyear and his own sister, who offers, offered us to go in their coach. So set us down, my wife and I, into the garden, a fine moonshine evening, and there talking. 16th October 1667 and so away to the Duke's house thinking as we appointed to meet my wife there but she was not. I was vexed to see Young who is but a bad actor at best at Macbeth in the room of Betterton who poor man is sick but Lord what a prejudice it wrought in me against the whole play and everybody else agreed in disliking the fellow. Thence home there find my wife gone home because of this fellow's acting the part. She went out of the house again. <laughs> and so to supper, and so to bed. <laughs> in the middle of 18th century London, uh, sorry, in the middle of the 18th century, London boasted only two playhouses, Covent Garden, run by John Rich, and Drury Lane, managed by David Garrick. In 1749, the competition between these two men erupted in rival productions of Romeo and Juliet. 